Okay, so in this section here, we're just going to go through the setup and what all goes on in this part of the menu. So configuration is basically uh, your motor setup. So we'll start off here at axis one. Uh, this address is just pertaining to the circuit board address. We've called it uh, slider. Uh, we're in speed mode. That'll come as default. You don't need to change it. Smoothing is just a built-in um, value to the way your curves pop, pop up. Your max speed is the limit to the motors. Currently, it's at 7,000 RPM. And your max acceleration. This is like your built-in uh, damping when you're in analog mode. Uh, it's just going to solve it. 150 is always a really good value. You can play with that. If you get up to 500, it gets really jerky. Uh, there's almost no uh, damping to the movement qualities, but somewhere between 150 and 200 typically uh, is what you'll want to uh, have set up. Uh, next, uh, you have uh, address four for the board. Basically, same thing. Uh, this is just going to be the same for every motor. You can name it. This is in. This one is tilt, pan and focus. So that covers, matter of fact, uh, let's capitalize focus. All right, I'll hit OK there. Uh, everything else in here we won't really go through. Uh, update motor, you'll be prompted to do that. Uh, if there's a new motor profile update, you'll be able to do it right through here. Uh, this is your network connections. Uh, connect. When you first plug in, if you don't have a connection down here where it says online, uh, come up here to soft uh, setup and click connect and that will kind of recall out to the brain and connect itself. Uh, this is your master reset to send a drive. So if you ever do run something into the end where you hit the current limit and everything shuts off and you can't figure out why nothing will restart up again, hit either unplug the brain and plug it back in or hit the reset send a drive and that will reboot everything up. Uh, there is a current limit like a circuit breaker in there that if you run a motor into the end, uh, rather than destroying itself, it will uh, just shut down and it needs a master reset. Uh, and if later software updates, we will probably have an auto reset built into it. But currently, that's how you'll have to do it. And you have your update Cine Drive firmware. So again, once you download the new firmware, uh, you would click this and it would take it and send it down to the brain to update it. And then we have a turn off uh, Cine Drive LED. So when you click that, it turns off all all lights on the brain. So if you're shooting time lapse and you want no light in the area, uh, you can click that and it'll shut it off. Uh, your help menu uh, has all of your uh, manuals uh, and information on how to update, firmware update. So basically everything you need to know. And that's, this will be updated every time there's a software update if anything changes.